Welcome to Focus Garage. Today we're going to cover Focus SD exhaust hangers. That a lot of people have problem with these, and we want to show you guys what's out there, what you can do to help your exhaust that uh, stupid looking, you know, uneven exhaust tips in the back. That and then also sometimes rattles and bangs, just like from the exhaust. How we can help that out? Yeah. So go ahead and break it down. What we've got here, left to right, starting with what's uh, that blue one there? Yeah. So this blue one is from eBay Special. It is, uh, I believe it's a Nissan S14 or whatever. Sylvia exhaust, chassis. Yes, uh, exhaust hanger with adjustable uh, hanger height. This will help you with uh, adjusting the height of the exhaust from, you know, low to high. So you can get the exhaust under the bumper, but it's not as closer all the way to the heat shield. So it doesn't rattle. And then if we want to, you know, get it in side view and see how. So like the first hole would be here and then the this would be where the stock is so you have adjustments of uh, uh, either high or low and then you can adjust it from the exhaust you have yeah something like that would be very beneficial for somebody running an aftermarket exhaust system or a custom exhaust system which doesn't quite want to fit right you know you're having issues with the slip joints lining up right or something like that this will give you some extra freedom with the exhaust to have it hang higher hang lower or you know move it how you need to see fit so that way it's not rubbing the pieces on your chassis or rubbing into your bumper or yeah, something like exactly. that exactly and to give some uh price range this is uh, goes between four dollars to seven dollars shipped to your house. Give me, give, give that a squeeze. Uh, how firm is that? It's this is pretty firm. You know, like it doesn't really move much. So this, this will also eliminate the movement, the swaying, yeah. and everything like that. Okay. So what do we got in the middle? So this one is the good old uh, cob hanger that you will get from if you buy a cob exhaust or if you buy their hanger by separately. Itself, yeah, yeah, separately. And this is a very short hanger. And it's very tough. It doesn't move at all. And once you get the uh, hangers in there, exhaust and the chassis, they are very tough to uh, get it out. <laughs> so it's like really pain in the ass. And if you look at the uh, comparison, this is like the lowest settings of the, the Sylvia one. And not adjustable. One and yeah. done with those. Yep, one and done. And you usually use this on where the well, on the 15th. There's there's one hanger that 14s and below don't have right above the rear wheel, and that's where you adjust it so it doesn't like uh, hit anything over there. I think you said that backwards, right? The 15 and up don't have that hanger. No, 15 and up has that hanger. Oh, the, the 13s and yeah, 14s 13s do not have that hanger. Yeah, 13s and 14s okay. don't have that hanger. Gotcha. Yeah. And then and on the far right here, what are we looking at? This is the good old uh, China, aka Fomoko. Uh, hanger Detroit, bro. It's not China. Well, okay. I'm just kidding. I guess Detroit is <laughs> made in differently. made in Detroit, China. <laughs> no, you mean Ford doesn't make everything in America? No. <laughs> but um, this is a very squished. You know, it's it's not as tough as the other ones, and then you can move it side oh, by side. Give it a twist again. See this? These don't move that much. Give that Ford one a twist. This is. Like, Woo! Oh yeah. That's why they, your exhaust will sway so much on these yeah, vehicles. Yeah, and this is like. I was showing earlier, this is like the middle section of that. And then when you put this and then you see this is, doesn't really line up. And these these all are more skinnier than this one. So you can put it, you know, in that area as well. But this won't fit in there. And this uh, with the uh, aftermarket exhaust, you are guaranteed to have misalignments with these because they don't really like the hangers from the aftermarket as much as they want to be good. They're not. They're going to be misaligned and you have no adjustment with this. And they're going to be uh, low and cricket and they're going to be like shaking back and forth, up and down, hitting all over the place. Yeah. The problem you run into with an aftermarket exhaust is especially these slip joint ones where there's no flanges. Yeah. Is that there's so much room to have them set up differently depending on how far you tighten down those clamps and how much you slip the exhaust into other pieces. So when you're stuck with a clamp like the stock piece there... You don't have any adjustability and it's very soft. So yeah, like you said, when you're you know putting pieces together, if you tighten the front piece and the back piece is still loose, you know you're going to run the risk of your tips being crooked. Yeah. You're going to have your crossover pipe over the rear control arm rubbing something. So you know when you do put an aftermarket exhaust in your car, we strongly recommend you upgrade to aftermarket hangers. Yeah, just for longevity too. These are all relatively new mounts. However, on cars that we've seen, you know, even as early as thirty thousand miles, if you're running an aftermarket exhaust, those stock mounts can start to tear. Yeah. Mines were tearing right here where the bottom of the exhaust was there. There was too much 
uh, weight on it and it start tearing right here. Yeah. So, I mean, even if it's like uh, eBay stuff, it I still have it in my car. It's, it's pretty good. It's still holding up. And uh, I don't know. It, it gives me a, a bene- like benefit of moving the exhaust up and down. So... So this is gonna kind of cover uh, exhaust mount, uh, exhaust hangers, and if you guys found any other ones, because uh, not a lot of people know about this, the eBay one, the adjustable one. A lot of people know about the cob one, and they replace it to the cob, and it just it's kind of hard when you're replacing it to a different exhaust because it's so hard to take it off. And this is fairly easier than that. So if you guys find another one, let us know. We'll uh, like to go buy it and then try it and then get what we think about it. And so share this video, comment below what you think about it. Would you upgrade your uh, exhaust mounts? Did you ever think about it, upgrading your exhaust mounts? And uh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's going to cover for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Kudos to all.